Hello church, today we're reading in 1 Samuel 8, another uh, passage in this journey of Israel, and we come to some troubling verses in this, uh, in this passage, and it starts right off that Samuel's getting old, he's getting up in years, and he appoints his sons to be judges in Israel. Well, like Eli before him, Samuel's sons are not doing well, they're not following the ways of the Lord. This is not new territory for Samuel. The very first time God spoke to him, he said that Eli's sons had done wrong and Eli hadn't corrected them and God was going to judge Eli. Samuel's in the exact same position. This time, instead of God dealing specifically so much with Samuel, he deals more with the nation of Israel. Because the leaders of the nation come to Samuel and they say, you know, your boys aren't doing right. We want a king. We want to be like all the other nations. We're going to be like everybody else. We want a king. And this hurt Samuel deeply. And he went to the Lord. The Lord said, Samuel, it's not against you. It's against me. They rejected me from being the king over them. And the Lord says, go ahead and give them what they want, Samuel. But tell them what it's going to cost them. And so Samuel goes through, starting with verse 11, and talks about what a king will do. He'll conscript your sons, he'll put them in the army, he'll draft them, he'll make them be his servants, he'll take 10% of your seed for, for and 10% of your flock, and you can read through there. Now, the United States today has a constitutional republic, but as you read through these verses, you're going to see that we are labor under the, a lot of the same constraints that Samuel told the children of Israel that they have from a king. And, and so God says, give them what they want. It's really a sad day. It's kind of parallel to Romans 1 when God said he gave them over. He gave them what they wanted. And we as a nation need to be careful of what we want. We have people saying, defund the police, do away with the police. Well, the Lord said, here, here's a little six block area in Seattle. We'll just take the police out. Let's see how you like that. Get back with me on that. How's that going for you? You know, we need to be careful. We need to be following after righteousness and seeking God. And I want to read a verse in, uh, in verse chapter 7, Lord before, in the chapter before, 13. So the Philistines were subdued. They came no more to the coast of Israel. And the hand of the Lord was against the Philistines all the days of Samuel. The people had the Lord fighting the Philistines for them. Now they want a king because one of the things they want the king to do is go out and do go to war for them. We're going to see that that doesn't always work out well for them as we go through the rest of 1 Samuel and we go through the history of Israel. Great reading today, a sad chapter, a turning point in Israel's life when they go from being ruled by judges, appointed by God, to being ruled by a king. God bless you as you read through 1 Samuel 8 today.